All right, so Code Ponder currently has a package over here called UI. And in UI over here, we have source and some components. And right now I have two dummy components, button and header. And we're gonna go through how you can add other components like real ones and go through that whole process. So let's say you wanna add a component to Code Ponder, what should you do? First off, you're gonna fork it. So you would fork it for yourself, but I already own the code, so I can't fork it myself. So I just made a test org uh, to show you this. So here I am forking this, and basically it makes a copy of it in your own account. And after I fork it, I'm going to clone the code. So I copied the URL for it there, and now I'm going to go into a new repository. So I'm gonna say programming uh, that, and in this folder I'm gonna say git clone, and here I'm gonna clone this repository. And again, you can either copy it from the URL or click this button here and grab it there. All right, so after I clone it, I'm gonna CD into Code Ponder, and I'm gonna open up my favorite editor, which is Visual Studio Code. And uh, yep, this is over here is good. So when I install it for the first time, we're gonna to have to run yarn, and what that's gonna do is just install all the packages for it. And then after that, we can click on Packages, UI, Source, and this is the package that we care about. So we have our components here. And so if you wanna create a new component, you can say New. And actually, before we go over even add a component, we can go over like how you run this. So it's set up with a storybook, um, I don't know what you would call Storybook. I guess a Storybook uh, server. Um, but we can start Storybook by running the Storybook script over here. So when this is done running, we're going to CD into packages, UI, and we're gonna say yarn Storybook. All right, so this is gonna build basically this project, which is just a couple components and then we can actually view the components that currently exist in the project, and then we can expand upon that. All right, so we can see currently I just have a button, and that's it. And we can click it and actually interact with it if we want to. Um, and so what you can do is you can either go into this button and you can add styling to it if you want to improve upon this particular component. So here I'm gonna say background color is gonna be red. And you save it, and this should update real time. Now, I don't know if it'll even let me set. Okay, we can set background color and buttons, cool. So there we go. Um, or you can create a new folder. So what I'm thinking is a folder per each component. So I'm gonna create an input component here. And I went ahead and chose styled components for this. So we're gonna be using styled components per each component. But uh, feel free if you want to add a slightly different library for styling or if you want to uh, just use style, uh, the tag you can, or the prop, I mean. So I'm gonna create a index, and by the way, this is in TypeScript, um, and if you need any help, we'll just say .tsx. Uh, you can let me know and I can help you with setting that up. So here we're gonna create a new input component. I'm gonna say input. I'm going to take in some props. So I'm gonna say dot, dot, dot. And for now, I'm just gonna say any. So actually, we're just gonna spread that onto the input. Dot, 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 props. And we're gonna say style component. I'm gonna say const input uppercase. And we're gonna import that from style components. Then we can pick any styles that we want. So I want to set the font size to 18. And we're gonna say this.props. And we have a conflict here because I called this input and I called this input. So I'm just gonna call this my input. All right, so here's my component. Now if you wanna see what your component looks like, you can say, you can create a story for it. So the name of the component dot story dot tsx and I'm just gonna copy what I have for the button so here we're gonna import these three things 
And so you're gonna pick the name of this story or the component here, which is gonna be input. We can give it a name. So here is just gonna be basic example. And I'm gonna render just my component. So I'll render the input. And we don't need the action. And you can add as many of these as you want. So we can see over here our basic example. Here's our input with the big font size. And then we can come over here and we can add stylings to it. So I want this to be OD, OD, OD um, for the font color. And it'll update and we can rerun it. Um, so that's how you add the component. That's how you visualize the component. The other thing is after you add that component, you need to export it so we can access it in other places. Uh, so you export the components in the name of it input here, and then we're done. So here I'm gonna say added a input component. Now I'm doing this, actually let's create a new branch because that's probably a best practice. So before we do this, we're gonna say get checkout and I did dash B here to create a new branch. So I'm gonna say feature slash input. And we'll just do lowercase input. And so we say added a input component. We're gonna save that to git. And then we can say git push origin feature uh, slash input. So this is our branch. So I'm gonna push it up. And now I can come over to my repository over here and you can see it says compare and pull request on this one I just picked. Um, if this doesn't pop up for you, you can also go to it here. So we'll refresh the page. So you can either click that or click here, feature input, and then click new pull request. But we'll go ahead and click that. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and say added an input component. We're gonna create a pull request um, and that is it. So you have now contributed to Code Ponder, and then I will review your code, give you comments if necessary, and we can merge it into Code Ponder. So yes, I like this this guy, and so I would go in and I'm like, yes, confirm merge, and that's it. So now we have contributed to Code Ponder, and Code Ponder now has a new component.